Yo, we got Jahorn and Lucas Broski. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Uh huh? What kind? Of, what kind of track are we about to get? What kind of song are we about to get? Today I had a conversation with one of my bros. My homie, he's been close to me since we were six years old. He calls my mama mom, he's seen all of my highs and lows. From school fights to sharing clothes, from b-ball to fucking hoes. He sat me down and let me know some things he never told me. Things he never got a chance to say or even show me. He said, I know that I don't tell you often, maybe not even at all. But I'm so proud of you and your success, broski. And I admire how you chase your dreams, that shit's courageous. Thank you for never switching up when you got rich and famous. Thank you for never giving up on me or having lesser love for me. Whenever we lose touch and be on different pages. I hope you know I'm here for you the way you there for me. You see, this this, 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 this the Jordan Lucas shit that I enjoy. When, when he's on his actual, like, how, how, he, how he raps. How Jordan Lucas actually raps. Cause in a bunch of his recent songs, he'll try and do, he tries to do like a new school type vibe with his music, and it just doesn't hit. Cause nigga, you're old. Sorry to say, it just don't hit right. When you're doing shit like this, this is fucking fire. This shit hits. It's crazy, you done more for me than on my family tree. And when I say I got your back, just know I really squeeze and make some niggas really bleed. That's really what I really mean. I'm proud of how much you matured and grew, but you still you. The world knows you for your talent, but I know the real you. And all your traumas behind closed doors you never held through. And all the pain you act like you don't feel, but you still do. I love the fact you keep your shit together mentally. You work hard for your respect, don't need no empathy. When people look you over and shut you out intentionally, you always said if they don't fuck with you, they will eventually. But remember when I went to prison? When I did a bid and you the only one that came to visit? Put money on my books and send me pictures of some bitches. They don't make them like you no more, my nigga. You just different. And bro, you ain't have to pay my nieces tuition. Or set me up with that new job and try to teach me the business. Always quick to hold me down before you speak your opinion. What goes around comes around, and that's the reason you winning. But listen, I was thinking maybe, since you my broski and I've been there since we was babies, you can hit the bank and break me off with something wavy. Huh. Maybe just a couple hundred thousand, nothing crazy. What? Because I've been hurting lately. And that's that's always how they started off. They started off. They always started off with the appreciation, with the thanks, and then they get into this shit, man. And they get into this shit, man. Every people don't change when they get money. People, some people change when they get money, but people around most more than often, people around you change when you get money. It, it, it ain't always you that gotta change. The people around you, they gonna change. Serve it, maybe. And if you can't do it, that's cool. It ain't like I'll be angry. You still my broski and I love you, but that's kind of shady. Was that Colin Kaepernick? Wait, what? <laughs> that's cool. It ain't like I'll be angry. Is that you still? Is that Colin Kaepernick? Broski and I love you, but that's kind of shady. Cause I've been going through some shit. It ain't like I'm just lazy. So maybe you should pay me. I quit my job cause I don't want to work for no other niggas. Huh? Or maybe works for some, don't work for some other niggas. Yeah, they pay good, but you know I'm a stubborn nigga. Plus I know you got my back. Right? right, right, right. If not, then fuck it. I ain't asking again. Just don't forget who walked with you when you're back to the wind. And don't forget whose ideas I got you rapping again when you lost your passion and wow. got lazy and was slacking and shit. And please don't treat me like the niggas that be asking for shit. Cause I never asked you for a damn thing. I'd rather pull a hamstring and then run across some fan blades while jumping out of airplane. Or sitting in a damn rain while begging for some spare change. I'm sorry that we all can't be talented and rich like you. The little people still struggle. We ain't lit like you. And if we being honest, it don't really seem like you want me to chase my dreams so I can get like you. And lately you've been on some sucker shit. That's what I see, broski. I hope you know that hate of shit is a disease, broski. Cause last time I checked, we was a fucking team. And just because you got paper don't mean that you better than me, broski. I know everything about you. Yeah. I know every single secret. I know where you rest your head at. I know every bitch you sleep with. I know what you, you see? What you mean, nigga? What you mean by all that? It's really how it go, though. You say no, and then they start getting fucking angry. You say no, and then motherfuckers start getting angry. They don't want it. They, they can't accept it. They, they just can't accept the no. Because even if you do give them that first handout, that's not the. That's just a start. The first one ain't the last one. It's just a start. 
They're going to keep asking. They're going to ask for more. They're going to keep asking, keep asking, ask for more. And shit. That's why you just got to leave with the no. That's why you just can't do that shit. I pretend that I don't see shit. You a greedy motherfucker. You been hoping I don't be shit. You been getting fat while I been starving. You been buying every car and house while I been in the garbage. I deserve everything you got and more, and that's a bargain. You just want to shit on me and see me falling. That's alarming. You just hoping I'm a tarnish. You don't want me to be nothing. You don't want to open doors for me. You did a little something, but you could have did a little more for me. No wonder why your father turned his back on you, unfortunately. No Damn. wonder why your niggas set them traps on you to sorcery. You ain't nothing but a phone. You a liar, you a snake, and you can rap but you ain't Kendrick, you ain't cold, you ain't drank, can't believe Damn. If I called you family, I should shoot you in the face. You used to act like you was real, but always knew that you was fake. You let the fame get to your head, and all it did was made you whack. I always knew the day would come when you would stab me in my back. One day your money gonna be gone, and I'll be happy, that's a fact. And then you'll move back to the hood, and I'll be laughing when you back. But you my nigga, and I love you, and I want to see you win. I wouldn't play. That's a fucking, that's a crazy switchback. Wait, wait, you was just saying some wild shit. That's a crazy switchback, bro. There's no one above you. And you've always been my friend since we were stepping in the puddles. Real niggas don't pretend because you're my brother, you my double. You my motherfucking twin. And I want to let you know how I appreciate the things you show me. It's kind of hard to trust niggas. That's why I keep you closely. And look, I know that I don't tell you often. Maybe not even at all. But I'm so proud of you and your success, bros. Keep bro, bro, bro. I'm hoping I don't look down. Crabs hey, in a bucket. It's like crabs in a bucket. Damn. This is when this type of music, these type of songs is when Jordan Lucas is at his best. Not his hyped up, poppy, new, got new school style type shit. This is when Jordan Lucas is at his motherfucking best. I want to hear more shit like this. I don't want to hear him try and be like the new school shit. I want to hear this. This this shit is, this is what I listen to Jordan Lucas for. This is, this is what people started listening to Jordan Lucas for. Damn. This song was deep and it's for real. This, this, this song was spitting some truth in it, man. This song was spitting some motherfucking truth in it, dude. He didn't say one. He didn't say but one lie. That's exactly how people around you start to act when you start going up, start getting money. They love you and they hate you, cause they just can't do the same. It's a fact. It's a fact. But shit, you know what y'all think?